Welcome to yet another exciting episode of the Online Prosperity Show. And today we've got Michelle. Michelle, how are you going, my love? I'm really uh, happy and I'm, and I'm so excited that you contact me. Thank you very much. That's fine, Michelle. Now, Michelle, tell me a little bit about yourself before I go into rumbling here. Just let me know um, about your business and how you came about to be on this show today. Okay, um, I'm 24 years old. I'm from Venezuela. I study social communication. I, I don't know if you have that career uh, career or, or that title there. But it's, it's something like publicity. And uh, okay, I have also a, a marketing agency like you. But that, that's my job, my, um, my hobby is this thing that you contact me for, my Instagram account, uh, Elegant is Sexy. This is a subject that I really love. I, I love read, uh, reading about it, writing about it, and uh, I think it's, it's really important because uh, on these days, people have lost the this thing, the good manners, um, men have lost their, um, I don't know the, the term, caballerosidad, uh, you know, when they, the, I'm the sorry, right? Have they lost the manhood? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or and, are you talking about chivalry? Because when, when a woman stands up, you lift their chair, when a woman... It's coughing, you give them a handkerchief, you know, all those nice things that used to happen. Um, why is that? Because I know, obviously, the internet has made it so difficult for people to connect, you know what I mean? And it's hard for people to trust another person and also for them to actually show feelings. Now, how are you, what are you doing to, to, to sort of make that uh, possible for people there? Yes, and it's funny because the internet uh, principle is for you know, connecting people. Right. I think in a way it's doing the opposite because uh, people now have more like on personal relationships, you know, and uh, it's more easy for people to connect to others. Uh, you know, they are far, but with people you have close, you like disconnect. And uh, I think I'm sorry, the, I, I don't manage the English perfectly. And, you're, doing, uh, you're doing amazing, you're doing amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I mean, obviously, look at this, look at this, Michelle. We are connecting, all right? I mean, obviously, I've, I've been watching your stuff, and then today I decided, let me get in touch with her, and let's just have a chat so that we can hear your side of the story um, I'm halfway across the world. I'm in Australia, and you're there in Venezuela. You know what I mean? Maybe one day either one of us is going to travel, but the internet has made distances so short, but harder for people to actually connect. So that's, that's what you're exactly trying to say. Right. And, and how, how then are you trying to, to bring that awareness to people and how is that also working with, with your brand and, and the way you work? Okay. I, I, I'm beginning just, you know, giving people information. I'm not trying right now, to make this a business because I really want to pe uh, people to uh, find find them or so, uh, find the interest in themselves for this subject because it's difficult. People just don't care about this anymore. People think uh, think that ma good manners are are no longer so important. You know, I think. Uh, or rhythm, uh, rhythm of life is, is like so rush right now. People are so um, like in their jobs, their responsibilities, uh, you know, the economic problems. Uh, in my country, we have really bad economic issues and uh, people is really into that and no longer uh, mm, like <laughs> um, giving importance to 
this stuff that are maybe are small but are, are really important and uh, my account name is elegant is sexy because I think the term elegant is like a, it mm, it has so many concepts uh, into that term I don't know if you understand it's not it's not only like uh, having good manners it's not only like etiquette or protocol it's like all this together and uh, is uh, it includes uh, being educated and uh, having col uh, much culture and knowledge about so much subjects <coughs> right and uh, what I'm trying to do is by uh, giving tips maybe short tips about really uh, about mo uh, too much subjects like culture education protocol etiquette you know yeah definitely so your your instagram says being elegant never goes out of style so it's yeah. people that are always classic um you know you know are the ones that actually stand out fashion comes in and goes but those people that are they, 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 they're core you know they're not they're not you know changing just because of what's happening around them you know it makes it a whole lot easier for people to follow what they're doing all right and you are helping people to be better and become a better version of themselves and you're giving people tips on you know their elegance their etiquette their protocol you know culture and a whole lot more right i, I don't know if my spanish is really good there but that's that's what i understand from um your 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 introduction there and that caught me you know because um we're living in a world where people want instant gratification all right so people just want if i send you a message right now i need a response i'm not gonna ask you know i'm not gonna want to 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 you know to 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 find out what's wrong with you or what's happening with you or have that emotional intelligence to to feel that maybe you're going through something that I don't understand, you know? Like when we started this call, you, you were going through, you know, problems with Zoom and I was like, don't worry, just let me know if it's working. If I was somebody else, I would have been like, you wasted my time, you know, I was waiting, I was waiting, but you also had the etiquette of letting me know that things are not working on your end and then I respect that. Now, what, why do you think is it, is it a lack of culture? Because obviously I'm from Zimbabwe and we were brought up with a lot of culture. We were brought up respecting our elders. We were brought up, a man has to be a man, you know, a woman has to have her own space in society. I mean, there's equality, but you know, you, you, you respect women just because they are performing their role, their duty in society, et cetera, et cetera. And women are also expected to, you know, behave in a certain way that, you know, is, is attractive to other members of the society and also attractive to everybody else. But I, it seems to have been lost. Do you think the internet has sort of gone cross culture and people now don't even know where they belong? Because if, 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 if kids are growing up, they're just stuck in their room. They no longer have that time with their parents anymore to, to, to learn from them, to, for them to impart that information. They're learning from Justin Bieber. They're learning from Katy Perry, who also does not have any etiquette around them or any sort of you know, rules around, about how they carry themselves. Do you think that that can be fixed or have we lost it already? No, I think that can be fixed, but I, I, I think it's not an easy job. But I'm willing to try. Mm, I, um, here in Venezuela, uh, and uh, because here I think the problem is bigger because mm, uh, I, I don't want to uh, get mo uh, much into the politics, but we. Uh, our society is really separated. Oh. Uh, there is hate be uh, between social classes. Yeah, right. that's the right. term. Okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, this problem that you are uh, that you describe so perfectly is um, is like bigger and harder here in Venezuela. And that's because uh, that's why I begin with this. 
And uh, I, I really think that the internet and the television is, uh, is a factor that is really uh, in, um, inciting that, no. Um, Causing it to happen. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And making this, this harder. And I think that is, is something that happened, you know, slowly because uh, the rhythm of life and uh, women uh, being um, getting into the working uh, okay women uh, women working that okay <laughs> let me start again I You're think right. that um, before women like w- uh, were more uh, into the kids education right you know yes now they, they have to work not only Okay, I agree with women working. Okay, I work. I, I don't <laughs> think that only men have to work, but but uh, that obviously is is something that makes the education of children uh, left uh, behind for being for being made uh, with television, internet, you know, yes. and the, the the things you find in the internet in the television in the music are not the best always. Right, right. Yes, and uh, I think that we grow with this lack of elegancy, etiquette, I don't know, good manners. Yes, and, yes. <laughs> yeah, but, and the, right, I, yeah. So, but so, I, I really think that we can reverse that. Cool. So what sort of steps would somebody, let's say there's a parent of your community who's watching this right now and he's probably thinking, how then can I revive, um, you know, my, my family back into the cultural sort of stance? Is there anything that maybe you can, you know, give, cause you're giving out content as to how to, you know, stay simple, stay elegant and actually really do be and have a life that's actually enjoyable. Because it's easier when you, you stay classic. You know what I mean? You don't have to keep up with appearances. You know, what, what was good is, is what would remain. Look, look at how simple we, we both are right now. If we had gone out of our way to try and put in accessories, this video, I mean, accessories for 2017, this video, when somebody's watching it in 2030, They'll be like, oh, look at how old those people look, you know, because of the, the era of the time. But if you're classic, if you're elegant, if, if you're timeless, your, your whole message transcends where you are right now to wherever you want to be. So I really commend you. And that's the one thing when I saw your news feed, I was like, I really got to talk to Michelle and really find out how she keeps up. Now, your age, don't get me wrong, you are in an age where you wouldn't have grown up with all the elegance, you wouldn't have grown up seeing it around you because the social decay already started. What's inspiring you to maintain it? I'm sorry, to maintain what? To, to maintain the, the, the need for elegance. So what, what, is, what is motivating you to, 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 to do this um, job you, you're embarking on? Because I'm watching my society uh, going so wrong, so far, uh, so fast. Yes. I, I'm really concerned about it uh, because to reverse that is so much, it uh, needs so much more time that right. to make it wrong, you know? To make yes. it right yes. needs so much more time that to make it, to make it wrong. Right, right. Yeah, uh, I think that the most important right now is the awareness of the necessity of the of educating children uh, around this concept of elegancy etiquette protocol you know right and it doesn't have to be so like mm, strong and I, I don't know unflexible but uh rigid but it doesn't have to be rigid but it's important for people to out uh, to aware to be aware of this right and that that's why I made my Instagram account. Great. In the future, I want to uh, have an academy. Right. Yeah. Subject. 
But I think that it's more important now that people that create awareness in people right. of, of the importance of this. Wow. Okay. So it's, it's, it's something that you, you, what, what would happen if this doesn't happen? What, what would happen if, if people don't, you know, con, you know, go back to, to the cultural norm, what would happen to society? Well, I think we can watch it right now. Maybe yeah. it's not so uh, like a uh, really, really big problem, you know, but I think uh, if we continue like we are, yes. uh, it's going to be like, um, okay, okay, well, it's difficult for me because this is not my language. Right. But, uh, no, that's all right. I, th I think now women don't respect themselves like mm. before. Right. And that's making men not respecting women like before. Right. Uh, I think the children are not being educated as before because there's there's no more that concept and if you don't have it how you transmit it to your next generation you know exactly right right and uh, i think it, if you watch a uh, television shows now and you look for the old television shows you now find naked women and uh you find out that the most famous people on instagram instagram are the kardashians <laughs> <laughs> you know you know what that tells me my lack of talent you know should not actually stop me because look at them they don't have that much talent but you know they they're already making things happen so obviously <laughs> so you're saying what we are exposed to and what you know television has been running the narrative because for all i know tv is literally designed to make people feel inadequate okay you know what tv okay. does when you see people on tv Normally, it's people that have pretty faces like yourself. It normally, it's people that have, um, you know, pearl white teeth. Normally, it's people that have the bodies that they say is supposed to be the right bodies. And half of those things are hard to actually get. All right. Even if when it goes to cooking shows, the people that they show is people that are, you know, all doing yeah. all the skills. And I'm looking at myself. I can't even boil toast. <laughs> all right all right so 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 automatically i start thinking to myself i can never be like that so i, yeah. I automatically give up so i think what you're doing is actually really good in bringing out that part of social communication that needs and that social voice that needs to be done you know in order to educate people to be do and have a life that's actually enjoyable because mm -hmm. if you keep chasing all these things on tv you know what happens? We all go down the rabbit hole. Yeah. You know, culture and society has to be brought up by certain rules. You know, just like if you jump, you always fall down. That's a rule that people would never forget. It's just the same as what we're doing in culture. If you do certain things, you always fall down. But if you don't do those things, nothing will happen so it's it's very difficult for for people average people to understand that tv is fake yes and and i'm really appreciating your voice that you're bringing out there because you know you you you, you you're teaching people and 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 people are understanding exactly why just being themselves is enough yes right and you you touch a really important point and uh i think television not only uh, makes you feel inadequate but it creates role models that are, are no role models uh, are not good good not realistic models. yeah not not only not realis realistic they are not good you don't have to be like the kardashians that's not good you know in my first post so, I, so so I'm good like this with no muscles, yeah. huh? <laughs> In my first post, I I talk about this because I think 
a real role model is elegancy. You you should want to be elegant, but no right. one says that. You you will never hear someone saying, "I want to be elegant. I want to be. I want to have so much culture, so much knowledge. I want to be educated, have good manners. I wanna I want to be good with everyone. I want. I don't know. I want to talk without saying bad words. You know, no one says I want to be elegant. And I think that's a real role model, an elegant person. I, I don't know. I think people have, uh, television makes people create a role model that is so much, so it's so wrong, you know? Yeah. And it creates a picture of, or oh, if, if I can attain that, then it's not important anymore. Then they just sit back and not even worry about it. All right. Yeah. So now, Michelle, obviously you, you've got the platform. In the next 20 seconds, if you have a few words that you want to give to the world right now, what would they be? Okay. I would say that it's possible to be elegant, that it, it doesn't have to be uh, it, it, it's not about your um, your social position, your economics. You don't have to dress uh, Dior, Dolce & Gabbana to, to look elegant. You don't just have to want to improve yourself. You just you just have to want to be a best a best version of yourself and to you know read and try to educate yourself and i don't know try to prove every detail that's and, it uh, and you can make it wow that's amazing so how can people get a hold of you now michelle i'm sorry what how can people get a hold of you if people uh -huh. liked if people have watched this show today and 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 how can they you know get in touch with you Okay, my Instagram account is elegant is sexy, mm -hmm. and uh, right now I have a Facebook too with the same name. Okay. Elegant is sexy. And my email is wants to make a question that I be thrilled to uh, answer is the same. Elegant is sexy or uh, uh, a Gmail. Yeah. Um, uh, not a problem well this <laughs> this has been so fantastic and thank you so much Hi. michelle all the way from venezuela making us feel very elegant today all right so uh, make sure you follow michelle uh in the comments below i'm gonna leave all the show notes and exactly what it is that we have been talking about today. Now, this has been the Online Prosperity Show. I really hope you're going to have a fantastic week ahead. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and also follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and on Snapchat. Thank you so much, Michelle, and thank you so thank much. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you. It was a pleasure to meet you. Not a problem. Great. All right. So.